Hi there, and welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a day and night cycle. So this is a pretty quick tutorial where we're going to be teaching you how you can create this cycle. Where, as you can see, the direction light is going to change based on your time. Of course, this is really fast right now because it's for demonstration. But once it gets into night, it's going to also detect that and it's going to change the texture of the sky. And of course, if you wait a little bit longer, I am going to see day again. Let's just wait a bit more. It's pretty fast, but still is a long way. And as you can see, the texture changes again when it's day, because it has detected that. And as you can see, we have the sun again. So that's pretty much it. In order to create our day and night cycle, I need to go into our level blueprint. For that, I'm going to click right here and then open level blueprint like that. Then over here, I'm going to get our event tick. So just get the event tick. And the first thing that I need to do is to set how fast I want this to be. So for that, I'm going to create a new variable that's going to be our day speed. And it's going to be a float. And about the time is up to you how fast you want this to be. For testing purposes, I'm going to make it pretty fast. So I'm going to place this number as 10. And then place it over here. Then I'm going to get a multiply from our event tick. Place our day speed over here. And now I'm going to our main word. And I'm going to just select the direction light like that. Select it, this component over here. Then go back into the blueprint. Right click and then create a reference to directional light like that. From this, I am going to get add actor local rotation like that. And place this direction light over here like so. Then from this, I'm going to get a make rotator. And then break this link. I'm going to place this as the pinch like that. So just play, get a little bit of more space over there. Place this as our delta rotation and then the event tick into our add actor loci, local rotation. Just like that. So that's uh, that's pretty much it up to move the direction light around. So let's say if I just go into our world, as you can see, the sun's moving around like that. There is one major problem. And that's basically when it gets darker and darker and you can see, you cannot see anything anymore. So I'm going to be dealing with that right now. To fix that, I am going to get our SMM underscore sky sphere. This one over here. Then go into our main word and right click. Get a reference to this like that. And actually I need to set uh, so now I need to differentiate between the time when it's day and when it's night. For that, I am going to get a branch over here. And then I'm going to also get, get rotation. Get actor rotation like that. And I'm going to check if this is equal to, in the case, uh, the first case it is for the day. So I'm going to be placing it as 180, same thing over here, 180, and then one in the middle, uh, it's going to be zero like that. I think for this case, I need to get our error tolerance as well. So I'm going to be placing this as a five and then get our branch over here. Place this pin into our branch. The first thing I'm going to do is to see when the day starts and then from that I'm going to get a do once uh, and then from this I'm going to need to set the material that's going to be of this one over here so just get it over here and then set material to be this one that mesh components like that just get it under here and here place this into do once now I need to do the same for the night. So if this is false, I'm going to check if it is for the night. For that, I'm going to be using similar check. So just copy this down here. Uh, the same error tolerance. In this case, it's going to be zero, zero, and zero. Just everything is zero. 
get our actor rotation like that then another branch over here into this pin if this is false if this is not day then i'm going to check for night and just copy this place it over here the same do once i'm i'm going to use this do once because i don't want to be setting the material multiple times so and then once this is done i'm going to get this pin from the set material into the reset of these do once and the same thing but from the other one into this one over here now i need to select the materials for that for today uh, let's see what is the right one i think it is yeah this one over here i am going to just get this material place it over here and for tonight i think it was something like procedure uh should be yeah sky knight over here so just get this one over here and yeah that should be pretty much it uh there's still one more adjustment that i need to do so here in the directional light i need to set this rotation into zero zero over here and uh, there's no need to change on the one in the middle just leave it like that save everything now let's test this out so as you can see when it gets on the dark on the night dark part night is going to uh, set a different sky material and in once it gets back in today it should change as well let's just wait a few seconds i think i should make it air but so as you can see it's there already the sun is going high into the sky and let's just wait a bit more to see if it's going to change back into the night and it should be changing so when it gets into night pipe it's going to change again so that's pretty much it for the day and night cycle um so thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you again soon Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.